I just wanted to show in today's video how I designed my wife a makeup organizer for her desk. I'll show a little video of how it came out and then I'll just show how I designed it. It's not really too hard. So, If you do want to make the one in the video, I did share it on Thingiverse and I'll put the link down in the in description. Tinkercad, I picked these little black squares and you can type in there the size that you want it to be so i'm going to put two inch by two inch then the height of it the tallest one's going to be four inch so i'm going to make that four inches and then <coughs> control and d to duplicate and i'm just going to duplicate that a bunch of times uh, this one i'm just going to grab the corner and drag it in you can see now it's inch and seven eighths by inch and seven eighths that'll give me a one eighth inch all the way around. I'm going to turn that into a hole and duplicate that one. It don't matter about these heights being different. Okay, so now you just got to pick, you know, how you want these to be. So my tallest one's going to be four inch. The next one's going to be three inch. So I type the three in there, and then this one's going to be two inch. Just like that. So I'm going to drag one of these holes over on top of the one that I want and click them both. Say align and then just align the two centers. So now I've got an even line around the outside. Uh, another hole, I'm going to do the same thing. Align, center, center. One more, get a back hole. Okay, so that's them three. So I'm going to click this first one and click the hole and group it so it cuts. Oh, before I do that, you just want to lift these off the bottom a bit. So I'm going to lift it up one eighth of an inch from the bottom. Same on all of them. Click the first, this lowest one, and group that. Click the second one with the hole, group that. And then this third one, these are still inside. Okay, well for the last one you have to group all three of these together otherwise you're going to still have the cutouts inside there. So group and now cut the hole out of it. And then that way it cuts these pieces out as well what was sticking through. So that's one end done and then duplicate, mirror and that's the other end. So I'm just going to sit them to there. Drag in another square. You can just take it to wherever you want, you know, you... Okay, so now you've got your platform in the middle. And now, really, you just got to cut your holes out of in here. So, I'm going to make that a little bit taller. I'm going to lift it up one eighth of an inch. Drag it out to the length that I want it. Control and D to duplicate. So these can be grouped now, so they cut out. Uh, this, These ends here, this is why I've done these earlier, you need to use a full block, otherwise it's just going to cut out these outlines. So just want to get you to and just make sure they're right on top of the other ones. I'm going to move that out of the way. Uh, group these two together. And then duplicate them. So I've got them for the other end. Turn it into a hole. Select them both and cut it out. Uh, oh, make sure you make it a hole. Select the two of them. Group. And that's basically it. Oh, if you want to do the angle on the front, like the other one was angled, you can just yep, just turn it into a hole, and then bring it up. All right, I'm gonna keep my one like that. Just group the two of them. And now you can see it's made that an angle. 
little bit like that if you do want to cut it off just drag out a box make sure it's right over the top of the whole thing select them both group them and it'll be gone yep so i just wanted to show that's roughly how i made it a little bit different to my one but you can just make up the design as you go along thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll put out another video as soon as possible thank you